what's going on ladies and gentlemen it is your boy code actually aka actual and our previous video uh we showed you how to install the ddwrt on the router so i can go ahead and link that video down here below uh the description um but in this video we're going to be setting up a vpn and we're using private internet access and please use my affiliate code down below um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I am using an affiliate link, and it doesn't charge you uh, any extra, but it gives me a little bit of commission if you do use my private internet access uh, referral link. So um, we're definitely connected towards uh, the PIA, private internet access, and uh, I chose the Denver uh location specifically because with this IP address, it ties down to... Um, a sharktech.net what sharktech.net is uh, they offer vps and dedicated hosting and they have a damn good reputation of having uh ddos protected filters slash silt uh, systems excuse me and firewalls uh, implemented so uh, i chose denver specifically uh, i just randomly found out about the denver and i just like did a trace route to see where the the actual data center is and it's like like oh it's shark tech so um if you want to be ddos protected uh choose the denver area location if that's in your area uh, then you'll have a good low ping as well so but anyways uh, let me show you how to set this all up um there's a couple tutorials uh, that I have followed, and I'll go ahead and link them in the description. So this tutorial did help out a little bit, but I was unable to successfully get my DDWRT router um, working with uh, whatever uh, server that they have running. Um, so it was actually the Flash Router's web uh, web page that has got me on the up and up. So if, uh, if this will help you out, the links in the description will be in these tutorials, just in case if this video um, doesn't help you out. But what you want to do is go towards, um, where, where's our router? There's our router. So first thing you want to do, and there's going to be a couple of things that I'll be censoring out as well, so just FYI. A um, couple things you want to do is scroll down and go towards the static dns1 and static dns2 so make sure that it's enabled um you want the 209.222.18.222 and on the second dns 209.222.18.218 and these are private internet accesses um dns and it helps uh, prevent any dns leaks so definitely use pia's uh, dns so um, next thing we want to do is go towards our IPv6, and that needs to be disabled. So um, actually, before we uh, before we head on over here, just make sure you scroll all the way down uh, after you put in the uh, IP addresses and the DNS. Make sure you hit uh, save and apply, and also make sure the NTP client is enabled, and choose your time zone. So we're choosing Arizona for an example because it's close to Denver, but choose your time zone for an example. Um, then what we want to do is go towards back towards our IPv6, then uh, disable the IPv6, uh, hit save and apply. Um, it's going to reboot your, um, your router every time to apply those settings successfully. Then what we want to do is go towards our services. Uh, let me blink out the screen real quick, uh, just in case if I need to remove any um, uh, private information, which I need to. So, one second. Okay. So, uh, let me go ahead and display it here. Next thing you want to do is click on services, then VPN. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to have open VPN client. Now, if you do not want to choose Denver as your um, as your server, there is other servers out there that could be close to you. So, if we were to um, where where is the uh, networks page? The the networks page will be in the link description down below. And you scroll down and you select what country you're in. So, if I was in uh, United Kingdom, for example, which which I'm not, 
And uh, if I was close to any of these, if I was close to Manchester, then um, I would want the Manchester's uh, host name. So we're going to go ahead and copy. We don't want that. We're going to go ahead and copy uk Manchester uh, dot uh, private internet access dot com. Then uh, we're going to copy and paste that in towards our router page here. And um, right here, it's it goes right there. Now, um, what we want to do is to do a UDP. And we want to use the um, encryption cipher AES256CBC and uh, SHA256 because uh, it's a stronger encryption. We do not want um, any weak encryption. So, um, which, where was the example of? I'll go back to the tutorial. It says it gives us the option to have the... Uh, uh, SHA1 and uh, SHA1 with both of these ciphers, uh, we we do not want that. We want the SHH256 because um, it has a stronger encryption. So um, you want the port to be 117 or 1197, then the tunnel device TUN, then the tunnel port UDP, then the encryption cipher AES-256CBC. Then the hash algorithm, uh, SHA256. Then the uh, uh, user path authentication, you want that enabled. Then this is going to be your P account. Um, well, your P account, funny, with that all of our systems. So it, it's your private internet access account, which you put in. Um, for an example, where where is it? So uh whenever you sign up with private internet access it gives you the account information in your email so it'll be p123456789010 uh whatever the numbers are so at the p and the number and the password it provides you then you're gonna go to the advanced options hit enable then as for the tls cipher you're gonna make sure that's none then lzo comparison or comparison compression adaptive then you want NAT enabled, you want firewall protection enabled, you can leave this blank, uh, leave that blank, uh, have the tunnel MTU setting 1500, which should automatically be in there, uh, leave this blank, leave the um, tunnel UDP MSS fix disabled, then as for the additional config, um, it's asking you to put in this, just these two lines, so you're going to put in Persist dash key, then enter. Uh, so it's a new line. Then persist dash ton. Then you're gonna scroll down. Then it's gonna say CA cert, which you're gonna copy this um, um, CA cert. So make sure you get the the dashes in the beginning cert all the way towards the end. You're gonna copy the whole thing. Then you're gonna paste. Uh, you're gonna paste that in. Then after you paste it in you want to click save and apply. Then let your router do its thing. Then after it's done doing its thing, um, what we want to do next is go towards our administration page. And we want to go towards our commands. And we want to enter in this line of code. So I'll put this in the description to a paste bin. Um, what this will do is every time that if the VPN gets disconnected uh, from the uh, from the server, it will not carry any traffic. So this is rather optional. So basically, um, it's a kill switch. So if the VPN gets cut off, then the whole router will get cut off until it gets back up again. So basically, if you are uh, always want to make sure your IP address is never leaked out, your your actual IP address and not the VPN, um, then you want this enabled. You're, then you're going to have to wait till the VPN host server gets back up. So this is just a kill switch to kill off the internet entirely. Um, but um, if you do want this, uh, make sure uh, you uh, put it in commands. Then you can click Save Firewall. Then what you're gonna do is go ahead and reboot the uh, the uh, router. Then you'll be connected. If you want to get rid of this kill switch for whatever reason, um, you go back to this page 
you click on edit then you just get rid of all these lines then just click save firewall then there will be no more firewall it, it's weird how it doesn't have a delete button but that's how you delete it so um, one good way to check if your um, router is up and alive is to go towards the uh, open uh, VPS or open VPN then it will um, give you this uh, uh, let me minimize out of this it'll give you this um, connection status a-okay thingy okay so it'll say uh, client connect uh, connected success and it'll show something like this then just test out the, if the internet works if it doesn't work then refer back to this video or these tutorials that i'll put in the description down below i hope that this video was helpful um go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you don't like it then well too bad give me a dislike uh, come through on the Patreon or PayPal if you want to hit me up with a donation or more free content that I provide for y'all. I really would appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care, and thank you once again.